they have finally leaked the new Coruscant gunship. As you saw in the thumbnail, today's video, we are going to be telling you everything you need to know about this gunship. Let's get right into this. First off, this set looks amazing. It comes with what looks like five minifigs, which are Chancellor Palpatine, Clone Wars Padme, Commander Fox, and two Coruscant Guard Troopers. I cannot wait to get these figs. They look absolutely amazing, and I think LEGO did an amazing, amazing job with them. This is the information that you will need. The gunship has a total of 1,083 pieces, and the price is going to be around $140, but LEGO might raise it. Who knows? The gunship looks like a closed gunship, so that's exciting. We've never had a gunship that has both doors that close. These are going to be one whole door. It's not going to be two split doors like we see in the previous gunships, but we still get two whole doors that close. So that's pretty nice. This could go up in price as an MNR production set. It's supposed to be $140, but you know LEGO these days, they can increase or decrease a price on a whim right before a release. So $140, give or take 10, probably give 10, but hopefully $140 here. This banger of a set will release on September 1st, but it will be able to be pre-ordered within the next one or two weeks. So look on the LEGO website for that like every single day for the next two weeks it's going to come out we're going to get official leaked photos it's going to be amazing we're going to see all the figs we're going to see the price we're going to see everything it's going to be freaking awesome the one stupid thing about this new coruscant gunship is going to be it's a little smaller than the gunships that we've gotten in the past for example the atte when it came out back in like 2007 or 2008 i don't know I don't remember, but it was really big. It was pretty decently sized. But when they re-released it as the new ATTE that came out last year, it was significantly smaller than the old one. So that kind of sucks. The ATTE also bumped up like 10 or $12 before it came out and when it came out. So it was definitely an overpriced thing. It was. But yeah, hopefully they don't do that to the new Coruscant gunship. The design on this set is freaking awesome. The only problem that we have is going to be the top handle thing. It looks a bit bulky. It's not as smooth as the other one and maybe as more sturdier than the previous ones. But yeah, it just it's really bulky. One thing that a lot of people noticed about the wings of the gunship is instead of the bubble turrets they added stud shooters this could be because it was aimed more for kids and playability features and kids love stud shooters on their star wars ships but for the adult collectors and the older collectors they're not too happy about this because every single gunship has had the bubble turrets except for this one so it really sucks. Anyways, with all that aside, this is going to be a great set. I cannot wait to get it. I love this Coruscant gunship. I love the figures. I love the set. I love everything about it. This is going to be a great, great set. Make sure you like and subscribe on this video. Tell me down below in the comments if this helped you learn more about the Coruscant gunship. And don't forget to subscribe again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh my gosh, what do I do? <laughs>